Some reports in Hebrew media that the possibility of popular politicians Yair Lapid and Tippi Livni merging together is no longer an option. Kladdershot News reports both lawmakers agreed a possible center-left bloc will not work out between them, despite a series of meetings and discussions over the last few days. Polls show Lapid's Yeshatid party would earn about between 10 and 13 seats. Livni's Hat Nua movement could get five or six seats, maybe, and a merger between them could possibly threaten Netanyahu at the ballot box if they get others to join, but they will not be, be part of that movement together. With me in studio is Ayal Arad, a former advisor to Prime Minister Netanyahu, longtime Israeli political strategist. Sir, thanks so much for being with us. There, there are not many paths at all to beating Netanyahu at the ballot box, but there is no path at all to doing that unless the Air Lapid merges with someone, unless Benny Gantz merges with someone. Are you surprised to hear these reports that Lapid is rejecting an alliance with someone like Tzipi Livni? Well, I'm not surprised because uh, up to now, uh, each one of them is willing to have uh, uh, some kind of an alliance with one condition that he or she is on top. Yeah. So uh, I think they're playing ego. Uh, and it puts in question their commitment for change in Israel. So. Netanyahu is running his own campaign. If he were to pick up the phone and reach out to you for advice, would you tell him he needs to do anything? I mean, if he just stays silent and doesn't worry, I mean, all these other parties and factions that are kind of cannibalizing each other, why should he even campaign? Why not just stay at home, go on these foreign trips, promote himself as a statesman, and that's it. He'll cruise to election. Well, first of all, two, two facts that we need to understand. One. 20 to 30 percent of uh, right-wing, soft right-wing voters uh, are not happy with Netanyahu. Okay. And the reason they still vote for him or consider voting for him is because they don't see an alternative. So uh, an alternative could rise up suddenly. Remember last elections with Herzog and Livni coming up together, a surprise move, uh, jumping from 13 to 26 overnight uh, yeah. seats. So it could still happen. Secondly, he is also threatened from his own camp by uh, people like Bennett and maybe Lieberman. And who knows what would happen now with the new vote in the religious camps with Smutrich taking over. I mean, there are challengers, but he has more than double, according to most polls, more than double his next nearest challenger. He's looking good right now with 84 yeah, right, days but to Remember that trying to predict results of the elections from public polls at this stage is like trying to predict the results of a basketball game uh, out of the first quarter. Uh, the point with Netanyahu is that he's taking a strategy that is, is, is risky uh, because right now his whole strategy is about, and the fact that he appointed himself strategist of the campaign, is about the indictment, possible indictment, yes, no, etc. And, and that really opens up uh, for the criticism by his rivals from right and left that Netanyahu uh, puts his personal interest ahead of the national interest. Uh, by centering the, his strategy on his own personal problems with the law enforcement system, he might give credence to that claim. Uh, uh, while he could really, as you say, uh, do the strategy of I'm really the only one statesman, uh, visionary, uh, deals with security Israel. as the experience that can really defend Israel. And we'll turn more to that point and his legal issues and the possibility of this indictment coming up after a short break. Stay with us, Ayal. More on the upcoming elections. Then later in the show, Prime Minister Netanyahu condemning Iran's failed satellite launch into outer space, what he says it reveals about the regime's true intentions.